Hi guys, I am back with um, album two, which is even more stuffed than the last one. So, just want to thank you for people's comments on my last video. And okay, here we go. <laughs> I should have really kind of spaced this out a bit more and like had a cup of tea or something in between. Okay, so this one is super stuffed, this album. Again, you'll have seen me make this recently. Um, just as a title page this is a page that I made you know back in 2012 this is one of the kind of first sort of pages I made using some road trip stamps I've got the little American um, map up there and this was um, my last album finished off in San Francisco and this one starts with a trip from San Francisco back to Las Vegas no back to Los Angeles Again, a lot of this was from the Studio Calico kits. All these little pink circles and everything they used to send us loads of. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's okay. I don't think it's that age that much. This one, um, again, is quite a recent one. Um, and just a few of the sites and stuff on the road. There's quite a few filler pages here because I did get a little bit photo happy <laughs> um, and again these are just um, the cards from the Ready Set Go Amy Tangerine Project Life kit um, and we had every type of weather possible we did start off quite early we had rain sunshine hail uh, yeah <laughs> we didn't have the snow but it did take absolutely loads of photos um, of course I wasn't going to scrap them all but I wanted to include them because you know looking back we can kind of remember those things this one isn't um, a really old one but it's using up that stash that um, simple story stash that I brought so much of all this travel stuff when I um, found, when I kind of found out we were going I was like I need to buy everything travel there is out there and I got all this simple story stuff which Looking back is really not my style and really quite grungy, but I made it work on a few pages. Uh, this, I love this layout, I love the story of this layout. There is a video for this one, and it's about when we couldn't open the petrol cap and we're in the middle of nowhere in this petrol station. <laughs> and we were kind of freaked out a little bit by the petrol station because there was this cafe at the back full of mannequins. It was so bizarre. It was a very and like yeah, I just I love this page and so I've got the story journal down here. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera. Again, this is just another collage page of um sites from the car window, different different things we saw. Um so that's kind of quite cool. This one, love this picture, it's one of my favourite pictures that I took of our trip. Um it is of a tumbleweed which was tumbling absolutely love it so and again these are just kind of very travelly um, themed bits again I've got a little photo sleeve here that I've just chopped that down and I have this one again which is another chopped down one and again these are the 3x4 cards from the ready set go these ones are the sort of filler ones and I just talked about um, the weather and how much fun um, I had recording it this again was a quite a recent one so I shared this and again going with this globe and camera themes. This is um, one of my favourite pictures I took a trip because as I said I thought it was travel guide um, quality. I'm aware that I don't have the V there. The V has fallen out somewhere. I do know that I still have this um, Dear Lizzie Alpha so I have written a note that I need to just find a V and stick it in here because that looks a bit weird. Um, I use this Kelly Perky um, kind of like cityscape background. Oh, sorry guys, I'm yawning. It's the morning as well. That's not good, is it? Uh, this again is one another good, lovely layout that I love. A lovely layout that I love. This is one I love even. And this has got quite a lot of different textures in. It's got wood, it's got cork, it's got like this fabric yo-yo, it's got twine. It's got these more photorealistic frames. It's got a um, overlay over the photo. 
and this is just talking about how we went to the comedy club and being British on the front row at a comedy club was not a great idea. Um, love going to comedy and stuff in the UK, but this was not a good experience. Um, but we did just snap that um, picture of the microphone stand. Yeah, didn't love that experience. Um, again, this is just a layout from that same night, um, just from where we um, outside the comedy store, and then we went to Carney's um, Burgers. Um, and this is just a cluster of random flair and fabric brads and wooden what are those things called wooden sprinkles and i really like this out this was done this is not a new new layout but i really like this and i love this sort of clustering style here we've just got a photo um info again with this little bit of journaling about when we went to the staples center to see the baseball again more pictures of inside this is then just a picture um, with our foam finger and my hat. Uh, one of my favourite memories was seeing Simon Baker at the game and but leaving my good camera in the car. And I had an iPhone 3S, I think, at the time. And the zoom was not good. I know I can look at that picture there and see that it is Simon Baker, but you really can't. But I love it because it captures a memory. It's an awful photo, but the memory and the story is there. This is just talking about the actual game and how, you know, I don't like sport, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Here's just, a, oh, everything's falling down. Um, this is just a picture of me being gangster in my Bubba Gump hoodie and my Lakers cap. Um, and basically looking like one of the kids I work with because they all walk around with hoodies and hats on. Again, another filler page here. Um, and this is designed to look like a pocket page, but actually is a um, just on a 12 by 12 um, piece of cardstock. And again, this one is again designed to look a bit like a um, pocket page. But I did just fit this card in here and... Um, those bits because the problem I had is that these were um, horizontal and these were kind of vertical so I couldn't put them in the same page protector but I wanted they're in the same part of the story so to do that I just got and these they were just on really old like cardstock that I didn't love um, pack paper I didn't love and I've just stuck them on there and collaged them on as if it was a um, a normal pocket page so I love how that came out then we're going into our VIP tour of Warner Brothers Studios. Again, work out. I love this. I stamped the camera on um, a fabric tag. Must try doing that again. There's not too much embellishment on here, really. Um, again, those fabric frames are there. I love those fabric frames. Um, so there's that one. This one, again, is very aged. Um, I, I don't love this layout, but I'm keeping it in there. Um, it doesn't... It's not balanced to me, it's not even, like that bit didn't need to be there. I should have taken that off and stuck it there. But I'm not going to worry about it. Um, this is just the Warner Brothers studio tour. There was lots of photos of like the different buildings. Um, this one there was I believe a video for. This is um, filming, we saw on the lot. And they were filming the incredible Burt um, Wonderstone and we saw Jim Carrey and Steve Carell. Even though it was tracking down rain, we saw them prancing around. This is a very recent layout, just talking about how there was rain, <laughs> lots of rain. And again, here is just some like vans and stuff um, which actually go along with the movie. So we kind of got to see little bits that they were using for the movie. Again, you have seen those these two recently. Again, these are just um, photo sleeves of the different bits of the tour. Again, on this one, I the way that I wanted the album to run I just had to mount these on a piece of 12 by 12 so they kind of fitted in with the album and I kind of that's one of the last things I've done I kind of flipped through the album and kind of saw what you know that's why I made a few recent layouts and um, those three because there were stories missing or I had to kind of put things together so there's the album would make sense um, this is then a recent one about us going to the Hogwarts pictures this is my Where's Gunther layout about Central Perk and I realised I had loads of pictures 
um, from Central Perk. There's all these ones. And I hadn't actually scrapped anything about it. And it was quite cool to go in, you know, and see that. I had, like, the the one of the interior sets set up. And, you know, the couch and everything. It was really cool. I'm, I'm not a massive, massive Friends fan. But it was really cool to be there. And I realised I hadn't scrapped it. So when I was um, kind of looking, I thought, OK, I'm just going to get one of the photos, make this again. This is the stuck on piece of 12 by 12 And then put these two next to each other in the album. This is the only one I'd actually scrapped um, in Central Perk and this is our tour guide called Rance and he introduced himself Rance as if in France which was funny because we say France so I'd have called him Rance but anyway it was quite funny um, and I've just journaled a little bit about that and this is a kind of an older layout with lots of strips of paper. This is the one I'm still not sure I love but I wanted to go for a more cartoony theme so that one then was stuck in there. Again, this is a more recent one as well and there's lots of photos from the studio tour we then went to the Simpsons part of the studio tour and my boyfriend is the biggest Simpsons geek ever ever I mean he just has he has so many little Simpsons vinyl toys it's it's crazy so of course we had to go here of course it was chucking down with rain but we had to do it um, so this is just some pictures of like outside the Quickie Mart and the Androids Dungeon and Baseball Card Shop. Um, and so I love this font. It works really well for this. And I try to really go a bit themey with this by going very sort of primary colours. And again, this one, this is a newer one that I've done. And again, keeping with that yellow and um, theme of just my boyfriend outside the fake modes, which is funny because he's too total. And then here's just some more pictures and again I just stuck these on a piece of 12 by 12 because I, how I wanted them to fit in the album. This again is a pretty recent one, this is Mr Peanut um, with the Mr Peanut sign. Uh, again there's some more photos here and again that is um, the wall that he was standing near so they kind of work together. And me and my attractive poncho. Again this is a pretty recent one of him, um, my boyfriend standing next to the Woody Woodpecker height checker. Um, this is Batch Feature one where he went and had his photo taken and of course I've got loads of pictures um, to do of when we went to Comic Con in London and he got to meet Christopher Lloyd and we got to see the cast of Batch Feature so there will be some more Batch of the Feature layouts coming very soon. This one, <laughs> I love this one, um, this is a picture of me with my head in the fake drawers absolutely love it love the colors i went very much with the gray and pink and took them from the photos again this is just more pictures of me with my head oops sorry my head in jaws and i've done the journaling down here just to balance it all out and again just kept a little bit of the gray card just to match everything in and again how this one works this has journaling here that goes with this photo love this effect this is just using the punchinella all around it and this was an Amy Tan paper that already had some distressing around it so I've just added to that and I love the neon signs again this is a slightly older one um, and this is just again using Amy Tangerine I've used a lot of Amy Tangerine through here just because Amy Tan does a lot of, sort of travelly themed bits and pieces so again love that and again got the cameras and bits on there and you've seen um, this one recently using that vellum and then I've just finished this album with some more pictures of the neon signs so that is album two done and as you can see I've packed a lot in here um, and I had I've kind of documented it chronologically as such um, how we went for the tour there's a few photos that are kind of not in because I put a lot of the LA ones because we were in LA then we went to San Fran then we went back to LA um, that kind of got a little bit out of sorts, some of those photos, but I think it flows quite well and I'm really happy with how the story of the holiday is told. So that's um, album two done and I will be back with album three and that will be done and I'm going to put these on my shelf and forget about them. <laughs> no, I will grab that. I actually grabbed out my Paris 2012 album the other day and looked through that. There is again um, an album share video for that as well. 
and I love how it looks and a lot of it's Disney layouts which I'm not a big Disney fan but hey anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in my third one bye <laughs>